If you don't eat spicy food, you should not get the Thai spicy. Do not get it. That's medium. Upset, 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 upset. All right, everybody. Guys, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, turn on your notifications. And yes, we are social distancing. There's nobody within six, eight, even 10 feet of me. All right, let's get it. Yo, whoa, you guys, whoa, whoa, we are whoa. officially entering Thai Town. One of the ethnic enclaves that we have yet to cover here in Los Angeles. What's interesting about Thai Town Los Angeles is it is the only one in the entire country. Bon Panam, Thai desserts, let's go. Thank you everybody for clicking on that video, but before we continue, I gotta give a shout out to our sponsor, manscaped.com. Now I know you guys have probably seen this advertised before if you watch any male YouTubers, but hear me out because you can get 20% off of their newest product, the Perfect Package 3.0. This whole package right here is touted to be the perfect tool for your family jewels. Now, as important as it is to keep your hair trim and clean up here, it's also important to keep it trim and clean down there because as you guys know, I mean, that's an important and sensitive part of your body. So it's time to start thinking about how it looks and feels itself because that can do a lot for your self-confidence. This box has the Lawnmower 3.0, which is waterproof with a ceramic blade to prevent any accidents using advanced skin safe technology. And the Crop Preserver is an anti-chafing deodorant and moisturizer. Not to mention, they also threw in the Crop Reviver, which is a toner to help you stay fresh all day. When you become a subscriber, you get a new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months, keeping it clean and effective. And for a limited time only, when you subscribe, you get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Boxer Briefs for pure comfort. Sign up now and get 20% off plus free shipping if you use the promo code at manscaped.com. And if you guys enjoyed that drop, make sure to smash that like button and watch the rest of this video. All right, our first dessert here at Bon Kanam Thai Grocery and Dessert, man. We have sweet, sweet kanamboang. So as you can see, it's like a crispy crepe. You have the cream on the inside with the uh, sweet threading on the inside. It's almost like a pinch taco. This is like the thinnest crepe I've ever had. Not like your soft French crepe that you're thinking of. It's just like super crispy. I like how that cream is kind of hardened. Yeah. It kind of got baked into the crepe a little bit. I don't know if I've ever had hard cream before. So so this is actually sweet, savory, egg yolk uh, threading. All right guys, between the sweet and savory one, man, which one do you like? I like this last one. For me, it was a little bit more balanced. You have the saltiness of the egg yolk coming a little bit. I like the sweet one. And this right here is the pang chi. Rice flour cake with coconut, um, corn, and taro. Pang chi. Yo, the corn adds a juiciness. I really like it. The corn is almost like a little juice ball. So you have fried sweet potato, you have fried taro, and then you have some fried bananas there. So this is like a trio, the trifecta of fried right here. Bananas All right, Benson, you gotta go with the banana because you've been raving about I fried got bananas. I got it, I got it. David, I think you gotta go with the sweet potato because you have a personal connection with sweet potatoes. That's a good point. And then I will just go with the taro because uh, you're skinny and this taro was cut skinny. Fried banana. banana. The banana's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. Super nice. The breading, it's a little mushy. Yo, the taro was a little bit sweeter than I thought, but it was also a little bit more drier. Actually, not as greasy as I thought. I'm getting like a sesame flavor from this. I got some drinks. Yo, you know what I love about this? Look at this fresh coconut juice. Mm, that's sweet. Ooh. Sticky yeah. rice, man. Go for it, guys. Ooh, that, that leaf is oh, real crispy. Ooh. That's like the this Thai was, this tamale. Was, this, when I get sticky rice, it's always steamed sticky rice. I've never had the grilled version of this before, so I'm super excited to see what it's like. Ooh, is that a little banana in there? I was surprised. I enjoyed it. The banana inside's actually been kind of caramelized a little bit. This, this is my favorite thing so this far. This is my favorite thing so far, hands down. This wow. Is, this is unreal. Pandan buns. We have custards. Ooh. We're supposed to dip this in the custard. Guys, I'm so excited about this, as you can see. There's pandan at the bottom of these bun. That's good. Talk to the roof of my mouth. That's delicious, man. Woo! You guys, what if we dip the pandan bun in Thai tea you custard, crazy. though? Mm. You crazy for the Thai tea custard. Let's go. Let's do it. That, is, that Thai tea custard oh is my crazy. God. This Thai tea custard, you got to get this one, too. That is another winner, guys. Canada Crump Coconut, coconut Pancakes. pancakes. Oh, God. God. This is my new favorite. If Whoa. A, if a pancake met, like, coconut cream, this is, oh my God. It's still gooey and soft on the inside. Almost like a, like a, it's half cooked. Yeah. Man, I don't know if I ever had anything like that. Egg yolk thread cupcakes. Yo, I love how fluffy their bakery items are. Super spongy, super light. You, you need a lot of the 
salted egg yolk floss to really get the vibe. Here guys, I'm opening this roti. All right, I got the angel hair candy. I have the sai sai here, which is a coconut custard with pandan. Yo, this is like going to Thailand with your homies. Angel hair. Wow, that's just pure sugar. But the roti is nice, it's super thin. Uh, man, I've never had anything like that. Yo, these are some really unique desserts, guys. I got here some sai sai, which is a coconut cream dessert. A little palm sugar boba, if you will. That's really good. You got like, have some of that saltiness. Did you expect that, bro? <laughs> that was the fudge of coconut. Chicken, Chicken and, and pork. pork. Yo, I might have to dip it. I wouldn't dip that. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't dip that. I think the meat's a little too, like, sweet tasting. Yeah. Me. All right, so we just finished up with the Thai desserts. Let's move on to the Thai lays. Curry crab, crab lays. lays. Yeah? I didn't have it yet, so I get to see. Mm. Wow. That, I have the best seafood flavor of any Lay's I've ever had. This is my favorite Lay's I've ever had, period. Really? Yo, guys, if you come to this market, I think this is a must get. Hey, so guys, in this bag, they actually put two different flavors of chips you can see in the tone. All right, I'm trying the shrimp one first. Tastes like a shrimp chip. I yeah. can taste the shrimpy powder. I, All right. I didn't think it was gonna be as pungent. Interesting. Shrimp is better, but let's combine it together. Good. People... Together. It kind of tastes like a meal. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Citrus heavy, flavor. Heavy lime. I've never had a Lay's that took you on a journey like yeah. that. It has enough nori that you get like the, the flavor coming through. It's not too salty. You know what I fresh. like it? It's not too sweet. Yeah. It's almost just tastes like fried nori. Yo, you guys, that snack journey was epic in and of itself, but we still have to try Southern, Central, and Northern Thai classic dishes. Woo! Central, Central Thai food. food. Now you guys, Central Thai food is the most represented style of cuisine in America. Yeah, because it comes from Bangkok. There's Southern Thai food, there's Central Thai food, there's Northwestern Thai food, and famously Northeastern Isan Thai food. Mm -hmm. Andrew, what are we sampling today? Because we've got to get through some of people's classics. What I got here from Ruin Pear, which is one of the most famous Central Thai restaurants in all of Thai town, in all of LA, I got a few different battles going on because we need to settle some popular Thai food debates. And the first one is between the appetizers. It's between the chicken satay and the pork jerky. Chicken, chicken satay. satay. And Ruin Pear, let me tell you this, this is no regular chicken satay. This spot is highly rated as one of the best restaurants in Thai town. It's, that was juicy. It's really good and it's super tender. I, I would have liked dark meat. Battling chicken satay, we have the pork jerky. It's got that nice crust on the outside. Mm. Whoa. Dude, that sauce, unbelievable. There's so many things going on. Who are you taking? I think it's unanimous. You gotta go with the pork. The pork. The pork. Pork. The sauce at Ruin Pear was crazy. But all right, the next debate that we gotta settle is Pad Si Yu versus Pad Ki Mao. Battle of the noodles right here. What makes a good Pad Si Yu? I would mm. say that the noodles are long and not just broken up. I'm not a fan. I, I hate it when you get to the bottom of a Pad Si Yu, you know, takeout order and it's just like the little short noodles. It can't be overcooked. It has a nice mm. chew. Two, the sauce has to like coat every single noodle. Yo, my thing about Thai food, when they do the wok work, it always has that wok hay. In Cantonese, we say wok hay, which is like the flavor of the wok, where everything's a little bit burnt. But <laughs> Thai food, Thai food always delivers it. We have to make the judgments off the batch that we're eating today, right now. And if I was to make the judgment based off the Pad Ki Mao drunken noodle or the Pad Si U soy sauce noodle, I'm going with the pack e No, <laughs> instantly. What was going on here? Wow. You know what I noticed, guys? Is that when you go to the authentic Thai spots, they mm. really do chili and spicy things on another level wow. from the sort of your Americanized, commercialized Thai spots. Uh, this dish in particular, the uh, Thai basil in it kind of rounds out the dish, uh, the spice in the dish, and you can't really get Thai basil at your like uh, run of the mill like convenience store. We're if you don't eat spicy food, you should not get the Thai spicy. Do not get it. That's medium. We gotta do the drink battle, which is Thai iced tea versus Thai iced coffee. Wow. I'm telling you, man, if you haven't yo, had Thai yo. iced coffee, wow. yo. I'm today, telling you. Yo, today it's been all the upsets. It's been the 15 oh, versus the oh, two oh, seeds. Oh, 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 oh. And the 15 answer? seeds have been coming out victorious. Right, on the count of three, say which one you liked between these two. 
Three, two, one. Coffee. coffee. I did not think I was gonna like the coffee more than Thai tea. I always order Thai tea when I go to a Thai restaurant. All right, you guys, wrapping up Central Thailand, we have a battle of two salads. Technically, that's not salad. That is stir-fried morning glory with crispy pork. And this is called a glass noodle salad. Okay. Neither of these were the crying tiger salads. This is the for. dish that made Ruin Pear. And this dish was the lady who I was ordering from. She said that was her favorite dish. That pork has stayed crispy even though it's been submerged in liquid. That's actually really impressive to me. We have the glass noodle salad from Ruin Pear. This is my first time having this dish. Big bite for big boy. This looks like a carnival game right here. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. Got the lid. <laughs> oh no, he got it. No. Uh oh, apparently it's very hard to get a small <laughs> bit of noodle here. I would almost call that a citrus chili noodle. I'm telling y'all, overall, man, that's why you gotta love Southeast Asian food because it's the most refreshing. It has real salads. The thing I love Woo! about Thai food, no matter what dish you order, it's gonna be super flavorful. It's upset central again. Uh -huh. The glass noodle salad Woo! beats the morning glory. 100%. Upset, upset, upset. <laughs> Upset, you guys, we gotta move on to Southern Thai food. So guys, we're trying to cover all the different regions of Thailand here, but it's been hard, especially Southern Thai food, because the one restaurant that we had to go to, Jit Lada, is closed today. So we're getting some other Southern dishes from this spot right here. Southern, Southern Thai, Thai food. food. All right, this is the soft shell crab noodle. So these are pieces of crab Whoa. that have been ripped up. That's real crab, not imitation crab, man. You know what's crazy? I did not expect to taste the crab through the curry. The, the Thai basil really comes out in this, in this dish too. Also in Southern Thailand, I heard they have really, really heavy coconut usage. I also heard it's the spiciest. That is the favorite Thai curry I've ever had. I've never had that much crab meat from a small crab thrown into the curry. Oh, man. Yo, I'm really <laughs> interested at these crab rolls because, um, you know, I'm not really, I don't really fancy egg rolls, but crab rolls <sighs> sound interesting. Mmm, that texture is interesting. Super soft in the middle, but the outside is nice and crispy. It's like a crab sausage because yeah. There's pork and crab, but that's really good. All right, you guys, last but not least, we've got the Thai fish cake. You yeah. need the sauce. Wow. It looks like a sausage. It's super, super meat-like in yeah. the middle. It has some vegetables. All right, so I actually don't like fish cakes that much, but that was one of the better fish cakes I've ever had in my life. So for me, if I had to keep it real, I'm gonna go with the crab roll. I think I'm gonna go with the fish cake. I gotta go with the fish cake, man. Now it is time to finish off at Northern Thai. Let's, Let's go, go to, to the north. north. Guys, we've gotten to our second plaza on Sunset Boulevard. We are right in front of Northern Thai Food Club. The owner of Northern Thai Food is from Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is the capital of the north. I'm super excited. All right, let's go and see what they got. Northern, Northern Thai, Thai food. food. We have the Northern Larm. Okay, that's like ground meat. You're gonna eat it with sticky rice. Here's the jackfruit salad. Here you got the Isan sausage. This is the famous kind of Thai style sausage. Here you have the khao soy noodles, um, curry egg noodles. And then here is another Burmese inspired dish. There's not as many colors in the Northern food. It's much, what we can tell right now. Much more earthy brown colors. What is that? That is a pork neck salad. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab the sticky rice, use it as a cup. I'm gonna cup up some larb. Northern, Northern larb. No. Salty, herbaceous, porky. Mountainy. Mountainy. Oh, Spicy. Wow. You can totally taste that it's not very tropical. Yeah. Jackfruit, Jackfruit salad. salad. Wow. A little fermented. That's very juicy, has tons of lemongrass flavor. It's definitely got that spicy kick. Mm. Woo! I don't think I've ever had anything like that. And the Yo. jackfruit, it looks like meat, but it's a lot softer, obviously, because it's a fruit. Northern Thai food almost oh, tastes like, in a weird way, some of the same elements, but played so differently, it almost feels like it's a whole different yeah. cuisine. Northern, Northern sausage. I've never had a sausage that is like a, an herb forward um, sausage before. It's, it's very interesting. Cow, Cow soy, soy curry, curry chicken, chicken noodle. noodle. Ah, oh, oh. The chicken, super tender, super juicy. And then you get that coconut flavor from the curry. And I love that we were able to split it up because for me, for cow soy, I never want to eat the whole thing by mm. myself. Mm. I just want a small bowl but that small bowl is a 10 out of 10. You guys, this is another Northwestern, I believe Burmese influenced pork, pork belly curry. curry. It's kind of like a curry fried sweet and sour sauce. Mm. Yeah. It actually tastes a little Malaysian too. Yeah. Mm. Last but not least guys, we have the Northern grilled pork neck salad. This is a popular dish. The pork neck is actually super underrated. 
Again, you guys, we are looking at the herbaceousness from the mountainous region I've, of northern Thailand. Hey, herbaceous, that's been a word that's been thrown around a lot a today. Lot. Let's just say <laughs> that. Lot. It's got a little bit of everything on, on each and every bite. I love the mixture of Thai food where it's just like, you get that fatty, crispy pork flavor, but then they, they throw on a lot of citrus and freshness. And like some fermentation as well. Yeah. All right, sticky rice. That was good. Mm, it's citrusy, porky, goodness. All in one bite. Ding, 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 ding. I feel like we've taken a tuk tuk all throughout Thailand today. Obviously, when you go to actual Thailand, there's so many more dishes. Yeah. But to just get a taste of everything, it's very hard. Overall, guys, what was your favorite region? Southern Thailand. Okay. I love the island flavors of the coconut and everything that they use, and then I really enjoy the seafood. Curries. At the end of the day, my favorite is Northern Thai food, Ooh. specifically Northeastern Isan. Isan. Ooh. Okay. When it just comes to like straight up like meat and that soul, I, I gotta go with Northern food. Who would have thought the two brothers would have picked the same cuisine? Single dish you had today that was your favorite. Maybe I'll let everybody can pick two. Number one for savory food, I'm going crab curry. The second one, I gotta give it to the grilled banana sticky rice. I know earlier in the segment, I didn't put that as my top, but if you take away the unexpected factor and just go with like, what do, what do I want to eat right now? Mm -hmm. It's going to be that grilled banana sticky rice. Oh, okay. so, all right, for me, I got to go with the grilled taro sticky rice. Number two, I'm going to go with the northern pork neck salad. Yeah. Okay, so for me, it was the pang chi. Oh, the taro yeah, yeah. Yeah. coconut corn uh, grilled cake. And then I would also go with just something that was so unique and surprising, which was the uh, jackfruit salad here. I think the coolest part of doing the Thai, Thai food crawl today was yes, it was trying all these regions, but also finding out the little nuances and the little differences in between each cuisine that made it what it is. I think that was the most interesting part. I would recommend anybody who's interested in Thai food doing something like we just did. Crawl around to different spots, just get takeout and just taste the different regions because to be honest, like it's a blessing and it, it is very unique and it's a blessing to have all the different regions of a country all in one place. Please give us a huge thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. Check out Benson on social media. You guys, please let us know in the comments section below what is your favorite Thai dish? And number two, what is another ethnic enclave around LA that we need to check out? You guys, this has been another episode of The Takeout Show. Until next time, we're out. Peace. It has the best food is, is, is regional. You think you know Thai food, but trust me, until you come to Thai town, I don't know if you, you do. Don't know <laughs> Yo, guys, uh, we just pulled up in front of this uh, Thai massage spot. You guys want to get a little loosened up a little bit? I could use some reflexology. I, I would love. <laughs> I would love a massage right now.